Hey YouTube, Ayrton Z here on Azow's Mac, and I have a pretty requested video um, that I've been meaning to do for a long time, and the particular pro or program I'm using is called Geek Tool, and it's what's letting me put these calendars, these dates, on my desktop. Um, and as you can see, I can easily put something on top, and it's actually a background image, um, and it's, it's updated. Uh, that's the actual date, this is the actual time. And so, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and first off, the program that you're going to need to get is called Geek Tool. And this can be downloaded from the Apple App Store, which is where I got it. And it's a really intuitive and easy to use program that lets you use programs. All these ones I'm showing you today are really simple. They're really simple programs that really don't involve too much thinking for the average consumer like us. And so right now I've got an enabled and I'm going to unable it so you can see that's all that stuff that I added. And the only things that we're going to be using today are what are called shells. Uh, for files and images those are different things. Uh, one of the coolest things you can do with Geek Tool you can actually add images to the background so if I wanted to add an image I could add like a, a picture of something and it would be a background on top of whatever my desktop background is or you could do cool stuff like add URLs so I could add a picture of the weather that could be updated live the only problem with that is if the website such as Yahoo weather or Google weather updates their URL then the desktop weather sign won't work which is why I personally don't do that because those URLs tend to change. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new shell. So once you have this open, all you have to do is drag a new shell onto your uh, desktop. And so here we go. We have uh, right here it says command, so obviously I have to enter a command. And if I do something just as simple as enter date, it's going to update and it will bring in the date. If I click here, click uh, for like fonts and styles, I can change my font. I definitely want to make that a little bigger, probably 48, and I can adjust the size. One of the greatest things about this is adjusting the size and moving it around. When you're actually programming, even something as simple as like HTML if you're web programming, um, you have to use something like C, uh, CSS to actually move your text around. or uh, even doing it in HTML, it's really hard. It's not, you can't just move it around like this, um, which is what Geek Tool really lets you do. Um, I would also want to adjust my font, obviously, so I mean, I can pick whatever I want. Uh, but as you can see, this looks way different compared to this. these dates I have over here. Um, and the easiest way for you guys to really learn how to do this is to just go online. As you can see, I was messing around a little bit. Um, I search Mac forums, but all you have to do is search how to put day in Geek Tool. And here we go, we get Geek Tool scripts. If we click here, so this guy even gave us all the links. I'll give you a, um, a link to this particular web page. But this is how I learned how to do all these. Even the, He even gave a uh, an example of how he has the weather. This guy shows how he used different fonts. Um, but I'm getting on a little tangent now. So say I just like what I did. I did the date, month, and day. Those are really simple as well. It's going to be date. You're going to have to add some quotation marks. Sorry. Plus, and it's going to be percentage time. And it's going to either be A, B, or D. A, we'll take a look. If it's capital A. Oh, sorry, lowercase a for a. Oh, and make sure you finish the print or the quotation mark. And there we go, we get Tuesday. Now say, change that to a capital A. Now I'm going to get Tuesday. If I change this to B, I'm going to get March. If I do a capital B, I'll get the whole March as you can see capital C gives me 20 which is I don't know actually what that's referring to I don't I'm not familiar with that script but uh, lowercase d is going to be the fourth and uppercase d 
will give me 30414. But what I've been using is just the lowercase d, as you can see, and I chose different fonts for these, and if I click off, you can see it kind of meshes really well together. Uh, let's go back how I did my calendar. Uh, this is the calendar that I prefer. There are lots of different ones, though, and the command for this one is super simple. That's kind of why I use it. It's just cal. That's all you have to do. Um, also, don't forget, when you're adjusting your uh, date and time, you need to change the refresh rate. So the refresh rate on these, for some reason, oh, I made these today and I forgot to change them. It's a good thing I'm talking about it. I'm going to change that to just maybe 5,000 seconds. And then for this one, I have uh, 3,600 3, probably preferred, um, except when you're getting into something like the a clock. You obviously want to refresh that every second. And the command for this is also really simple. It's going to be date plus then I think the, the parentheses for this one are on the outside, so it's going to be date plus parentheses. I colon percentage M. Like I said, the best way to figure these out are actually going to this website. Um, these are ones I made a long time ago, so I, I haven't had any reason to change. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, I hope I got the point across. Um, getting into stuff like Geek Tool, it's a little bit harder because um, we're talking about scripts and programs, a lot of stuff that I'm not that familiar with, uh, and you guys are probably not that familiar with. Um, but this is how I got my calendar date and time on here. There's so much more you can do with it. I, I hope that you guys kind of go explore and see what you can do, um, because you can do cool stuff like at the weather um, if you want to do that. And you can really rearrange stuff, make it look cool. Um, if you do get a really cool design, go ahead and uh, make a video or send me a picture on my Google+. Plus. Um, I'm also on Twitter now. You can follow me at AyrtonZ. And um, have an awesome day, guys. Thank you. Don't forget, my uh, giveaway is ending March 31st. So share any one of my videos and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go watch the link that is right here. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.